Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the Go 10 Mesh, a device that can keep you connected off-grid or in any emergency. All right, everybody, welcome back. So you're probably wondering what the Go 10 Mesh is. Well, it's a Bluetooth connected mesh networking radio system. It is used with your cell phone to offer mesh decentralized connectivity. Now for anybody using a cell phone, I'm sure there have been times where you tried to use it and for one reason or another your network was unavailable. If your cell provider gets overloaded or it could fail or breaks down, you don't have any way to be connected or your call can be degraded. A bigger issue with centralized communication infrastructure is a central point of failure. In short, if the networks go down, the phones don't work and there's no communications. So in times of natural disaster or emergency, civil unrest, whatever, communications may be restricted. So in times of natural disaster, say emergencies, civil unrest, whatever, where communications may be restricted or down, a mesh device like this would be able to allow you to communicate. Lastly, if you're living off-grid where there's no cell connectivity or commercial power, communications via cell phone can be really challenging. I've seen people buy extensions, extender antennas, Generally, stuff doesn't work too well. So if you're a hiker out on the trail, an off-road or ATV rider, preppers and survivalists like people that might watch this video, and many other groups, you can really benefit from a non-centralized encrypted point-to-point -point mesh network for communications, not dependent on any outside mitigating factors, and that's where the Gotenna comes into play. So if you're looking at this, you can kind of figure out this is an upgraded device from the first original Gotenna unit. They use a different frequency and use what's called a mesh network to communicate. We'll get into that in a second. Think of it as a rudimentary fault-tolerant internet of sorts. This device creates a low-frequency radio wave network that can transmit a signal for up to about three miles or even further, depending on your source elevation. All of them act as a relay. So, if I want to put this on my phone and take this up to the top of a building in town somewhere with a solar panel to charge it up and keep it topped off, that can be my relay. Now, of course, it's not very secure to leave something like that lying around, but if you have a second story of a house, you could put up a nice little relay for your neighborhood. So let's first define what a mesh network is, as some may not be familiar with it. A mesh network is pretty much a local network of infrastructure nodes, like these, that connect directly and dynamically to as many other nodes as possible and cooperate with one another to efficiently route data from or to clients, clients being you using your phone. The lack of dependency on one node allows for every node to participate in the relay of information. So mesh networks self-organize and they self-configure and that can reduce failure. The ability to self-configure through dynamic distribution of workloads, particularly in the event that a few nodes should fail, like one of these runs out of power, this in turn will give you a fault tolerant system. In short, if your cell towers die, a local robust mesh network can take the place of them. Since most people these days seem to text, Rollover can feel almost flawless because that's what these do. They will send a text and your map location to wherever you're going to talk to, whoever you're going to talk to, from whatever distance you're at. Now, what is Gotenna? Okay, this is a 900 megahertz radio essentially that uses an app on your cell phone to send text messages and a image of your location. It uses your phone's GPS, so um, you can set that up in your own system once you've connected everything. The Go 10 mesh keeps you connected, so using the GPS on your phone to ping and send your location while creating a GPS map of the area is pretty darn cool. It requires no license, and as we know, some people just aren't into ham radio, and this may be a real lifesaver for them. It can have a GPS location beacon. There's no subscription, and every device, every device is sort of like a repeater or a relay. 900 megahertz band gives you a little more room for data, and it's more of a digital mobile radio. So in short, when the cell towers are down, you can still send a text or your location to somebody using one of these devices. As long as the two units can see each other, figuratively speaking, I'm not talking that I can see you down the street, as long as they're line of sight, you can communicate. Of course, if you're higher, you get a better range, like I explained before. If I were to take one of these and put it up in a tall building, I'd get a much better range on my relay. Or I would be able to talk to somebody further down down in the area below, you know, maybe for a longer range yet. Since they all act as nodes, even when they're connected to your phone, the more people that have them, the better your mesh network is. And this is something I'm thinking about discussing with, um, since I work with emergency management through ham radio in town here, something I'm thinking about bringing up to one of our emergency managers 
about putting one of these up at our EOC, which is higher up the mountain in town, you know, the town's down here and it's up here, putting it up on one of their towers with a solar panel, that would make for an awesome backup network for us. Let's do a quick setup here, test it locally, where we know for a fact the messages will go through. Then I'll take it a few miles down the road and try to text my wife, who will be standing in front of the house, and we'll give it a set there. So let me set it up first and show you how that works. All right, since I already set it up on my phone, this is my wife's phone, and this is the one we're going to use to test today. So we're going to do it like this. You've got to download the Gotenna app, and it's available in your Android store, your um, Google Play store, whatever they call it now, as well as for um, iOS. So you're going to want to get started. Click on the Get Started button there. And this gives you all your terms of use. Like most people, we just kind of go, yeah, okay. <laughs> so it wants to access your connect, uh, location and contacts to deliver the best possible experience. So we will view settings, and we will allow that. There we go. I'm not familiar with our phone. You'll have to excuse me. <laughs> That's why I cut that. Okay. So you've got high accuracy. What are we doing? Bluetooth. We don't need Wi-Fi scanning. Just the GPS itself. Okay. So let's get back to our phone. There we go. You're going to allow it to let it get your contacts, and it will access this location, the device location on it there. Now you're going to need to create an account. Let me do that off camera, and uh, we'll get right back. All to right. It. So we've got that done. I'm going to hit next. It's going to send her a text message, and when it does, there's the text message. I will type in that code. Then I will hit next, and we choose our device, so obviously it's the GoTenna Mesh, and she's getting the blue one, because that's her color. Turn off any devices that haven't been paired, go next, I don't know if she has Bluetooth on in here, so let me do that, yep, that's on, so that's done, and now we're going to pair if we turn it on. So to turn it on, you've got your charging port here, I'll open that up and show you in a sec, I'm just going to hold that. Now you'll see the white light come on, and it's glowing, and we're going to pair. We're all paired up that quick. That is how easy this is to set up. Absolutely nothing difficult at all. You click Finish. You want to download an offline map. Generally what I'll do is I'll download my state. Location determined. Streaming map data. Yes, I'm going to download a map. So I'm going to select the area, download this, and we're going to test them side by side on my phone. All right, so as you can see, so my phone decides to time out. <laughs> as you can see, I sent a message to my wife's phone, and it says, New Chat. So let's back up, because I believe that's wrong. Back over there. There we go, direct messages. Now, to talk back and forth, if you're not going to use the, uh, the group chat feature or the shout feature, you're going to need to know that person's phone number. So basically what I do um, is I just get their phone number and I send a message to it using the app. Okay, Nothing on here is going through cell networks right now. Even though I am on 4G, this is all done through the app and these uh, little antennas. Now when we do test this outside, we're going to put both phones in airplane mode. That way there's no data but what's being transmitted out of these. So let's say we answer back. Hi. Of course. Of course, my wife would get a phone call. <laughs> so I go, hi. And I wait for it to hit over here. And there you go. That came in. And let's go, how are you? How are you? And we send it. And it sends over here. So you see how that works. And of course, we're right here. Obviously, it's going to work. So, let me get my wife together here and show her how to use the app. We're going to take it outside. I'm going to go about two miles down the road. Um, we're fairly flat in Trump here in the town. So, I'm going to uh, go about two miles down the road, and we're going to try and text back and forth to each other. All right, excuse the wind out here. As always, it's windy whenever I have to shoot a video outside. Um, I got the, uh, the Gotenna. We're about, uh, about a mile away. I'm going to open this up. I have my wife sitting at home. I have to send her a text now. Uh, let me see if you can see that. Oh, oops. Back up. Okay. H-E-R-E. -E. Okay, here. Now we'll let that go. That's been delivered. 
and she says, okay. Let's say thank you. I'm just amazed at the speed of this. I don't know if she's going to answer me. <laughs> she may think, okay, I'm going back to what I was doing. But anyway, you see, it works. Um, we are not line of sight, as you can tell. That's, you know, just pretty far away. Um, you can't see it, but it's, uh, it's definitely working. So, let me get back into the house and wrap things up for you. And uh, you're welcome. There, she answered. <laughs> and uh, we'll uh, finish up inside where there's not so much wind. All right, so we're back inside. And I'll give you the information on where you can pick these up and the price and the sale they're having right now. Um, I think these are really, really valuable. Um, really kind of in the infancy stage of just how valuable they could be um, for, for people who are interested in communications after a disaster. If you're not interested in getting your ham license, if you're not interested in learning about radio, and you just want something that's pretty plug and play, you saw how easy it was to set up. Real simple setup. Um, you saw how well it worked. I was actually shocked at how quickly it worked. Um, you know, it just seemed to be almost instant. I think the first time it took her so long to answer because she put the phone down. <laughs> but yeah, as you can tell now, I mean, that is just a very basic test. I was maybe a mile away. You know, that you'll, you'll get better range with that. But think about, if you live in an area like we are, where it's pretty flat, we're in a valley. Um, you get up on one of the mountains around town... And you pretty much have full coverage of everything. So if you go hiking in the mountains, something like this is awesome. You will see more videos on this because I really want to eventually, at least in my location, set up a full-time node. I'm going to try and figure out how I can turn one of these or order another one and turn one of them into a, uh, a node so that uh, anybody wanting to use these from their vehicle or wherever in town has a node that can hit. I already have high antennas up with my ham radio stuff. So, you know, to put, to put one of these on an antenna would be no big deal on a pole or on a tower. So you definitely see more, of, uh, more stuff that I come up with. I'm trying to figure out how to put one in a box maybe with a solar panel so I can keep it on all the time in the, uh, the node mode. So it will constantly be a uh, sort of a, a relay for uh, everything in town. Anyway, uh, I will give you a link down below where you can check these out. Okay, just click that link. Then click on the For Consumers section up top on the website. It's right up top. you see For Consumers, and you'll see the Go Tenna Mesh. They're running a sale right now, so you can get two of these for $179. So you can get your family set up, you know, your wife and yourself maybe, right there, or your significant other or whatever, set up with these real simple. We're going to plan on use them, uh, using them uh, when we go out uh, to casinos first and see how well that works. See how well it works indoors um, as well as outdoors. Out here, I know it's going to work. This is flat land. Inside, around walls, metal buildings, who knows? Let's see how well they work. But that's a later video. So you can get two of them for $179, or you can get a four-pack with an 8% savings for $329. Seems a little expensive, but when you consider if you buy a ham rig, you're spending at least that for a decent mobile radio. Unless you're buying a handheld, you're just going to end up frustrated because you can't hit any of the repeaters. <laughs> at least where I am, you really need more power. So uh, you'll definitely appreciate it when there's an emergency or when there's a grid down situation. Um, I mean, we can think back, you know, back uh, to 9-11 when the cell towers were overloaded. Many disasters. Your cell towers get overloaded. Nobody can talk to anybody. But when you have a device like this that you connect to your phone with Bluetooth, you can talk pretty much as much as you need to from a decent distance away. I'm thinking if we put up one of these at our EOC, um, and had it up on one of the towers, maybe, you know, 80 feet up in the air. It's already probably about 4,000 feet up on the, on the mountain. You know, you're going to get some serious coverage. I mean, when I'm there, and I'm on the roof there, I can look over and see the entire town from our EOC. So something like that, I will talk to our emergency manager, see if we can tie in some kind of video project, maybe, if they decide to do it. Because I think these things are really awesome, even if it's just for the... Uh, the EOC workers are search and rescue or whatever. I think they have a definite, definite worth. Anyway, folks, that's the video for today. Like I said, I will put a link down below. Check them out. Um, you may be interested in picking up two or four, whatever. Uh, I think you're going to appreciate them. These are not the same as the old Gotennas that worked on different frequencies. These work as a mesh network, and they work a lot better. Um, I think you're really going to enjoy them. Um, don't forget to check out the link, like I said. Don't forget to check out our Amazon store down below that. Below that is our My Patriot Supply. You can check out some food there. We've got some deals going on. And our um, Thrive Life link as well. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.